Hello and welcome back. My name is Erin Webster with Poker News. Even though the 2021 World Series of Poker is starting to wind down, there is absolutely no shortage of action, with some massive events just now starting to take place. Fedora Holes is currently in the lead for the remaining 28 players in the $100,000 high roller. The German Poker Pro will return to the felt today with nearly 3.5 million chips to compete to win his third WSOP bracelet. David Peters follows closely behind him with just over 3.3 million chips after he jumped up the leaderboard after he busted Justin Bonomo with a pair of queens. A huge congratulations goes out to Leo Margetz on her first WSOP bracelet and making waves as the first female bracelet winner in an open event this series. The closer event that she played in drew 1,900 participants and a prize pool of just over $2.5 million. Leo Margetz won her bracelet over some other familiar faces in the field like Yuval Bronstein and Chris Mormon. After only two days of play instead of the scheduled three, Makita Badzikowski scored his first WSOP bracelet in the $50,000 high roller after taking out 113 players to bring home the grand prize of $1,462,000. Badzikowski was able to allude to his win after winning a massive pot against none other than Stephen Chidwick. Both Stephen Chidwick and Alian Surovich were eliminated shortly after. Michael McCauley also claimed his first WSOP bracelet yesterday after winning the Super Turbo No Limit. McCauley has actually never cashed in a WSOP event before this year and actually just cashed in one daily deep stack prior to this tournament. He even told PokerNews.com he was only thinking of playing a 2-5 no limit cash game, but last minute decided to try his luck in this tournament instead. And lucky he was after it paid off big for the new champion. There's still so much going on over the next couple days, so make sure you don't miss any of it and you follow along on all the action on PokerNews.com, powered by Club GG.